welcome to uh, Walk About Town from Centuri. Today, of course, I'm by myself today. Maxine's not with me because uh, she's got uh, grandkids to look after today. So, uh, I thought, while I was on the way back home, I thought I'd uh, stop by at Pennington Flash today and do a bit of vlogging. And uh, just to show you uh, how it looks. Of course, last time I was here, they were still doing up the place. And, um, of course, as you'll probably see when we get out, they've, um, they've resurfaced the car park. And uh, there's new ticket machines. Of course, because right over there, there's some, well, there's going to be barriers, but of course, people are having to get a ticket from the uh, uh, from the Hyde Cafe. You can get your ticket and you can put it in the plain display. This is about £2.50 for all day. Not bad, is it? So, anyway, well, by the way, we're going to take a stroll, stroll now. A bit of a short stroll. I'm not going to go away all the way around the flash because that's be for another video. Who knows, might be with a collaboration with another YouTuber. Who knows? I'll have to talk to somebody about that. Right, let's get going. Well, here we are going through the car park. As you can see, the car park has been, uh, been resurfaced. I always remember this was quite rough ground to drive on. Um, it's good that they've tarmacked it and make it smooth, kinder to the kinder to your tyres, of course. Yeah, and uh, of course I always remember it was kind of rough ground for years. You know, well, ever since they turned it into a, a country park. Well, there's the sign to Bennington uh, Flash Country Park, which is uh, says a nature reserve. It gives you information of this uh, car park. Uh, car park last entry. No, let's take a look at that. Uh -huh. yeah. Zoom in there. Zoom in a look. Yeah. 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 Down here, things in flash. Yeah, it really made it nice now. Isn't they? This was the. Uh, uh, charging ports for electric cars. <laughs> don't know what like to own an electric car. I don't know. I've never driven one. Though I do believe uh, the MacMaster has uh, drove one in his videos. I've watched it. He was very fond of them. Yeah, so I guess uh, they're not that great. Well, in the meantime, I'll just stick to the petrol car for the time being. <laughs> until they even start improving on electric cars. You know, of course, the only electric vehicle I'll be travelling on is a tram. And that's in my favourite place, Blackpool. And of course, here we come down to the, uh, the lake, <laughs> a small lake, which is the Flash. Oh, look, some little and beautiful swan there. I wonder if he's friendly. Hello, Mr. Swan. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, big birds, aren't they? Yep. Well, I'm glad these guys don't try and pinch your food. Jeez. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to sit down. There's, there's, there's a Canadian geese. Yeah, was, uh, that goose is like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> uh, well, of course, there's information on planes and flash. Now, uh, let's see. It's really nice, and it's uh, over in the distance over there. We can zoom right in. We can. Here's, of course, the. Uh, that's the yachting. That's the. Uh, that's the uh, yachting club over there in the distance, the Lulton Yachting Club, which is the other end of the flash. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a nice nature reserve, too. Yo. I do, of course, anyone who's not familiar with it, I'd recommend you come down here. Anyway. Now, for those who are probably not aware of this, uh, now I have mentioned it in a very early video last year, but in case you haven't seen it, uh, well, the video involved, well, the last video, one of, my first, one of my first vlogs, actually, I did mention that, uh, that underneath the flash, 
There is in fact an old farmhouse. And uh, it's somewhere under there. Of course, I suppose if you were to ever to drain the flash, then yeah, you would see it. But of course, the reason for the farmhouse, because all this used to be farmland many years ago. In fact, going back to at least a couple of centuries before mining had come in, yeah, before. This was before mining had come along. Yeah. You can see the trees there. Over there, over the distance, or over the past, but it'll be more over that way. Um, Somewhere. There used to be, uh, there used to be coal mines over there. You can see because of colour through the trees here. Somewhere over there, probably a bit further back. But uh, I remember because of colour being seen on the horizon, uh, just over the hills there, which was a very big complex. This must be a new machine that's uh, come in, for uh, like pay and display, I think. Probably the new pay and, dis pay and display machines when they're in oper when they're finally in operation. Of course, as I stated earlier, that uh, you've got to pay for parking at the visitors information centre in the Hyde Coffee House, which is just there. Uh, I see. There's. Uh, well, as you can see, there's the uh, the menu. Some uh, some good prices too. There's a latte. You can have a latte and uh, oh yeah, a fluffy. Um, was that one? A puppet? I can't even pronounce that. A puppet. I can't even pronounce that word. But it's a warm milk for your fairy friend. Yes, that's even your dogs. Ruby chocolate, which is a. Creamy pink chocolate with a hint of strawberry. Yeah, a lot of uh, yeah, cold drinks, of course. Yeah, hot food, lots of bar, barbecue chicken, crunchy chicken on toast. It's a good menu. Yeah, it's a nice light menu, isn't it? I mean, uh, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? There's the cafe. What's the interior? Yeah. I can have a look in there sometime. There's no entry. Uh, we are coming through here. We are going around the flash now. And... Oh. Flying fruit? No, that's Canadian geese, aren't they? Canadian geese. They're not going to really change anything around now, aren't they? This is a. Uh, I don't know how far we're going to go up, but, uh, you know, looks like they're doing something here. It's all fenced off. We're not going to go right round the flash, of course, you know, I mean, no, there's some there, because that will be for another video. So, there's something to keep this damn thing steady, you know, this video is very shaky, unfortunately. Yeah. It's like they're doing something here, so they're also in this play park. And there's, there's new wooden frame swings. Yeah, engine flash. No horses along this footpath. There's no horses allowed. <laughs> Not allowed. No horses allowed, as Shelley Veach would say. <laughs> yeah. 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 It looks like they're, they're kind of coming on with mine now, isn't it? This new play area is going to be good for, you know, good for the kids. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I remember when the swings used to be like enough frames. <sighs> I, mean, I always had this chance to try and. Swing as high as you can. <laughs> That's scary stuff, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I really are changing this around now. Yeah. Yeah. It's changed a hell of a lot. 
Yeah, well, that's supposed to be uh, some sort of new plaything. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I wonder if suppose that is. Yeah. A nice little walk around. I've done other parts of the flash earlier, but uh, like I say, I think uh, it'd be good for a collaboration video, wouldn't it? Uh, with someone, uh, I think, uh, who would I collaborate with? Well, I know that uh, Stephen of Walk of the Water would love to, uh, would, have, would love to, love, would love this place. Because yeah, I know that he's been to a place called Martin Mia, which, from the look at it, it is like Peninsula Flash. And, uh, yeah, well, here is one of the hides. This is the Pengi hide. Let's go in and have a look. Oh, there's no one else in here. Nope, there's no one else. Let's take a look. I'm going to drop this thing through here, bloody hell. It's a bad hide. Yeah. Doctor Sons was the bird hide. You know, uh, you can see, we're just going around now. Mm. Yeah. Very nice what they've done. Oh, it's coming on. Let's just end up done with something. Uh, yeah. What they're doing there? Yeah. Looks like they're going to be doing something here. Let's get up another one as well. Another model airplane. Another model airplane there. It looks like they're. Doing something on this. Yeah, I know that's not inconvenient. But it's uh, almost down there. But uh, I suppose when I do it, I've actually got a whole bike. When I do a, a bike vlog, you know, do that sort of thing. Yeah. Shit, I've got the camera, I've got the cell phone. That's uh, <laughs> Yeah, of course, oh, when I was doing that vlog, I only got myself on, so I'll have to redo that again. Um, uh, of course, this, uh, which is you see where this path goes, isn't it? I think, uh, yeah. It's in a nice warm day, though. Yeah. I wonder what this will be. Hmm. Being just know where it will be. Okay, let's go on and take a look. We're just approaching the golf course. I better watch out for stray balls. Uh, so, oops, excuse me. There we go. That's the golf. That's the golf course over there. Ah, this, this. Huh. I'm going to have to redo that again because. Use the name, I don't know what the is. This is the. Uh, it smells nice in the shade though. It's getting warmer, so you don't need a big coat on today because, uh, yeah, coming into May, and, uh, well, the weather's good. Yeah. Of course, Sunday I'm uh, taking a, a trip to. Uh, uh, well, me and Max are going to take a trip to Eaton Park on Sunday. Because uh, Eaton Park is a good place to look at. It's uh, and yeah, the reason why I like going, why I'd be going there again is because yeah, <laughs> it features my favourite mode of transport, or favourite mode of public transport, the tram. Yeah, and there's about there's about four or five exhibits there. It's not a great big museum, but uh, it's certainly good to go. It's certainly worth going anyway. Get to ride an old-fashioned tram and. Uh, Another, yeah. So as a keep to the footpath, you see precaution. There's, there's a lot of fine golf balls around here, too. So, uh, yeah. This is the golf course. Yeah. I wonder why they don't make this into 
Well, if it was international, you could have cross. You know, whether it's cross or just jumping too far away. Maybe it would have, wouldn't it? You know, maybe. I suppose it's not big enough for that, really. I mean, can you imagine the bloody cars are parking? You know, it would be, uh, yeah, it would be. Anyway, that's the golf course. Yeah, I'm going to stick to the path. There it is. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be funny if we we're going to have a look at the entire information centre shortly? So, uh, I think we might be better off going the other way, back the other way around, I think. Hmm. Oh, of course, I can't get across the golf course. Really? Hmm. That's peaceful, isn't it? <sighs> well, I suppose there's not many people on. I suppose I can walk that way. <laughs> Looks like uh, there's my holiday in hotel right over there. You can just see through the trees. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. Anyway, go back the other way. Well, of course, uh, walk along the uh, golf course. It's uh, sketchy me doing this, really. Here's how these straight ball, golf balls go walking and flying across. Well, that'd be something on YouTube, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course, again, they do say proceed with caution, so uh, what we're doing, stick to some of the paths, not to the field. You can see, we've got all, all this little stream here. Yeah. Imagine what this would be like if this was like a, used for uh, international s circuits. I know there's one up in Fleetwood that they use for international golf. I've seen these. Yeah, I remember reading two uh, two fellows from uh, from the states who were over 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 in Black staying in Blackpool for the uh, Fleetwood Seniors cha Open Championships of golf, and uh, uh, both from Texas. I remember both from Texas. This is really, yeah, a little bit of a pitch, so I'm going to walk off the path. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of exercise right here, isn't it? Yeah, course closed, unfit for play. But of course, that's when it's a bit uh, soggy after heavy rain. Yeah, we're coming through here now. Yeah, so there's a lot of done, actually. It's Unflash Nature Reserve. Well, it's still a country park. And of course, the golf. Of course, the golf in the shop has moved. Uh, has, has moved into the Hyde uh, part, into the Hyde Cafe area as well. The slides. This is going to be the new area. The Toddler Lake. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's what's. That's what's going to happen there. Gee, I'm going to go through the tunnel. Ah. Hmm. Ah, going down here. Alright. Yeah. Look at that. I'm going to go down I'm cycling. There's some, uh, Oh, there's a new cycling club coming in. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, of course, there's a new thing being launched by Wigan Council, which uh, I believe I was handed earlier. You can see it. This is right over there. There's people. Yeah. Which is the Wigan Cycle Project. Well, this is the Wigan Cycle Project, which is. Uh, a community bike shop, which is uh, ideal for electric bikes. Of course, I was going to have a chat with them, but unfortunately, they're busy. As you see. Yeah. Anyway, while they're doing that, we'll go on the information centre. Yeah. Mm.
I saw, uh, of course, they used to just have the bikes uh, serviced. Um, uh, so anyway, of course, this chap is um, Mark, Mark uh, Wigan uh, from, from Wigan Cycle Project. Let's make sure I'm not on something. Anyway, uh, that's Wigan Cycle Project, which is a base in Hindley. In Hindley. In Hindley. And it's, uh, it's, it's a community a, bike shop. It's a community yeah. bike shop, which is self-funded, yes, I so believe. Yep, right. was uh, just heard. And um, of course, if of course you want to uh, have a bike serviced. Yeah, well, we so. do. We sell bikes, recycled bikes. Yep. Um, we yep. sell uh, yep. slight seconds uh, that we're getting in, so virtually brand new bikes, but a fraction of the cost. And yeah. we do services very cheap yeah. as well. Which is uh, uh, so there's something yeah. for everyone yeah. there. Yes. And we rely on volunteers coming in helping. So if anyone wants to volunteer, yep. so uh, we're was, on the website, yeah. yep. so, uh, cycleproject.co.uk. Yep. Yep. So anyone who, yep. so anyone who, so anyone wants the, uh, so anyone wants the. Uh, uh, back serving for about a fraction of the cost, and uh, you come see these chaps here. And uh, yep. Yeah. Anyway, so so wave. Of course, you want to. Uh, right. see yeah. Thank you. Yep. So anyway, of course. Anyway, anyway, of course, you want to uh, uh, like and subscribe to this channel, Centuri, which is uh, the name, name of the channel. We do other vlogs too, behind the wheel, and. Hopefully, try and do a cycling one eventually when I get hold of a bicycle. I think I'll find the room for one. There, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the only problem. You see, is like you've not got much room. The back is like, mm. well, we do have um, folding bicycles as well, yeah. which will fold down yeah. and sit in a hallway yeah. or um, yeah. you know, a porch. Yeah, and they're quite yeah. compact. Uh, of course, you can buy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course, you can buy covers. We're leaving back. You can. They're not great. Um, not great, but unless you get a very expensive cover, because the the dampness still gets in. Still the, gets in, and, yeah. and still can uh, rust. Get damp and the rust it, oh yeah, it's not good. Um, it's, uh, yeah, a little folding yeah. bike. It'll pop yeah. away in a closet. Yeah. They're, they're quite yeah. lightweight. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I know. Really useful yeah. for that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. I know that in Blackpool they used to have bicycles for hire on the seafront. Right. Yeah. Now the only problem is is with the sea air. And the bikes are exposed to elements. It's mm. they can get rusty, so they were uh, yeah, yeah, kind of do, so yeah, a bit of a maintenance, yeah. Daily yeah maintenance, so sort of I thing. think the council really maintained them, which I think was probably why the tram is still popular in Blackpool. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, well, of course, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna get back and have some have some dinner now. So <laughs> right, yeah. Anyway, it's nice meeting you. You too. And anyway, thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Well, of course, uh, well, we're back at the car now. Anyway, I'd like to give a shout out to some of the other than YouTube vloggers. Uh, who are also, especially the ones who have uh, subscribed to my channel, Centuri. I'd like to give a shout out to the Black Mayors family, Black Mayors family, Blackpool. They like, there's, they always do watch hours. And uh, Caroline Vlogs for Blackpool. I'd also like to give a shout out. Like I'd recommend they come and see Pennington Flash here in Lee because it's because it's well worth yeah, it's well worth coming to and yes yeah, they've really done the place up in fact it does look a lot better than it has done in years in fact um, so I'm very glad I'm very proud of what they've done here some people don't like it they don't like the idea of a cafe being there but of course well, I suppose it makes a change from from a burger stand being there yeah, but to you know, they might still have that food. Pakistan is still coming. But I think the one in the other one, the last thing they want is the country park smelling like a fairground. So, uh, yeah. I'd also like to give a shout out to Mr. Walk on the Wild Side. I don't know if he watches my videos or not. Uh, I don't know, I think he does watch them. I don't know. I also visit Wild Coast because they do great videos. Me, I'm just really an amateur, so my videos might come across a bit shaky. So um, that's because I'm only using a, a normal selfie stick. We are going to be funding a new one. I'm funding for a new one too that can stabilise the film. So I want to use a stabiliser program on the um, Silent Director that I'll use. Anyway, that's enough for me. It's time for me to go now, so I'll see you next time on another walk about town. And uh, of course, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be filming Total Transport for the Heaton Park Tramway. So, um, so see you next time on another video. Bye.